Hello, I'm Colleen Liu. I'm a psychiatrist working at the Black Dog Institute. My journey in research started about 15 years ago, and at that time, there was this exciting new way of uh, treating psychiatric illnesses, in particular depression. Uh, it was using magnetic fields to stimulate the brain. This is something that was completely new, uh, something called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS for short. So my initial research started with using TMS to treat depression. Uh, we did a number of clinical trials looking at different ways to give TMS. Uh, and TMS is now uh, well developed and it's looking at emerging into clinical practice. We've turned on our research now into another direction and another new novel treatment for depression uh, called transcranial direct current stimulation or for short uh, DCS. Uh, and DCS involves using a very tiny electrical current, so about 1 500th the current of what's used in electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT. Uh, it's given to the head just through two pads put on the head, about here and here. Uh, it's such a mild current that you barely feel it. Uh, some people feel a bit of tingling, uh, some people barely feel it at all. Uh, and what we found, which was very exciting, is that uh, it does have antidepressant effects. So we finished recently the largest and most comprehensive trial ever done of DCS in depression. Uh, and that found that DCS compared to a placebo, uh, and this is in the gold standard, you know, double blind randomized uh, controlled trial. So what's considered to be the gold standard test for new treatment, uh, we found that DCS was better than a placebo. And that after six weeks of treatment, 50% of the people in the study uh, were out of their depression. So this is, this is very exciting. Uh, an unexpected finding uh, was that as well as making people better in their depression, uh, people were telling us that they could also think and concentrate better. Uh, they, were, they, they said things like, you know, it's like the fog is lifted from my mind uh, and like my mind just cleared and I could think. Uh, we were very surprised and when we actually analysed the formal testing at the end of the study uh, that this actually came out in the formal testing, that we gave people a test of, uh, that, of their thinking uh, and it showed that people were able to think and process information faster after DCS and after a placebo. And this is under double blind conditions where they didn't know what they were having. So that's very exciting. Uh, it's also led us to another strand of research where we're looking at can DCS actually enhance memory and thinking. Uh, my postdoctoral research fellow Donald Martin, who is a clinical neuropsychologist, is leading that research. The other strand of research I'm very excited about, uh, and which is also new, is the use of ketamine as a treatment for depression. Uh, so ketamine is a medically available drug in Australia. Uh, it's used as a general anaesthetic. Uh, it's also used in sedation. So for example, in children having radiotherapy, uh, it's are commonly used as the uh, sedating agent. Uh, it's also used in pain management. Um, but recently, there's been an amazing discovery that ketamine can have very dramatic antidepressant effects. And uh, what we're looking at and what these studies reported is that about two thirds of people within hours of receiving a single dose of ketamine were out of their depression. As a psychiatrist, I'm used to treating people with medications for a few weeks before we see that kind of effect. So the idea that you can give a single treatment and within hours, uh, and usually by the next day, people are out of their depression is just incredible.